One great thing about the Arctic is that plants exist everywhere on this so-called barren landscape. Almost every surface is inhabited by complex communities of plants or lichens. The ice in Frobisher Bay that's delaying our ship allows me time to explore the plants around Iqaluit in more detail. Okay, so here is the uh, here's a tree, an Arctic tree, which you might not recognize at first as a tree um, because it's lying down rather than standing up. But you can see that it has woody stems, uh, so it will turn red in the fall and lose its leaves and grow new leaves in the spring. These willows are lying down um, because it's how they keep out of the wind. <laughs> Waiting to get on the ship also provided me with the opportunity to meet some elders from the community and have them show me some plants. This is Alice. She literally wrote the book on traditional uses of plants in this part of the world, her home. There's so many ways that they use the plants and so many ways that I hadn't thought of. Once we got on the ship, we finally got the chance to check out some pretty remote and magical places. At every stop, there were remarkable plants and lichens to discover. Another wonderful place was the area surrounding Alulasat, Greenland. The mountains and gullies here are blanketed thickly in green. We only had time to explore a tiny part of them. Rocky streams are fantastic places to look for a large diversity of mosses because there are so many different kinds of substrates and so many different levels of moisture in a small area. I had an amazing trip. The beauty and intricate character of the Arctic never ceases to amaze me. Already, I can't wait to get back here to discover new plants in new places. I love the adventure, and it means a great deal to me to help people with all kinds of questions and interests to get to know our fascinating Arctic plant life.